Hey, do you know somebody who's a stay-at-home? Here's a gift guide you might want to listen to. I'm CM Coleman. Welcome to my home. Today is Stay at Home Monday. However, it's not for you stay at homes. It's for the other people in your life. You know, the ones who think that they're going to buy you some great gift, some tchotchke that you can put up on a shelf. Bring him in the room right now. Go on. Just put this on pause. Hey, are you planning on buying a gift for your stay at home? Here's something I want to tell you. They don't want something they have to dust. That's annoying. Why not get them something useful? Here's a crazy thought. You could actually ask them what they want. Alright, I know that's going overboard, but let's think about some of the things that the stay-at-home can actually use. One of them is figure out if the stay-at-home is a technology person or not. If they are a technology person, get them some cool technology. Maybe they love to listen to music. Maybe they already have things so you don't have to pay they don't have to buy them like subscriptions to music instead you could find out if they'd like to have wireless speakers wireless speakers are always cool maybe they need things like paper a lot of us don't use a lot of paper and that's something to think about one of the things which is really cool for me I rarely ever print so I have a tendency to run out of ink. You're like, well, how do you run out of ink if you rarely ever print? Well, it's really simple. Since I rarely ever print, I'll print and print and print, and then all of a sudden I'll go to print something, and it'll say your ink cartridge is low. Ink cartridges are always something that the stay-at-home could probably use. Things like water bottles, oh, those are nice, coasters. Being a stay-at-home, I know what it's like to be drifting around from one place to another, and I never have a coaster to put my drink on. Yeah, I'm sure I could put it on my antique stand. Ugh, that'd be bad. And some of you right now are going, well, where's the links? Where are all the links for this? Why can't I? Well, okay, what's really important for the stay at home is you need to know that stay at home. Do they want office things? Do they want something like a pair of scissors, a nice pen? Find out about them. If you do not know enough about them so that you know those sort of things, you know what's really cool? Gift certificates, gift cards, that sort of thing, to places that they actually go. Office supply stores are always good for the stay-at-homes because they're probably going to use the stay-at-home office supply stuff if they run a business or if they do that sort of thing. If they are a stay-at-home, like a stay-at-home mom who is her, their stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home dad, whose whole job is to run the house, maybe a gift card to something ridiculous. Something like a day of pampering, a massage, those sort of things, because those are also great gifts for the stay at home. If you could get a gift certificate for a babysitter if they have kids, oh, I will tell you that any stay at home who gets a chance to leave home will probably be happy. Think about that. Find out from your stay at home what they would actually like instead of just buying them something ridiculous that they're never going to use. And hey, some of you who are thinking about buying a plunger, ooh, not unless they asked for it. If they asked for the plunger, go for it. If they didn't, no. But right now, right now, turn to that person who's the stay at home and ask them what they want. If you don't know, Find out where they shop and get them a gift certificate or gift card from there. It's alright. Cash is alright also, too. You can put it in a nice envelope. Me? What am I hoping for this, this uh, holiday season? I don't know. There are lots of things that I do. Uh, memory cards are always good. Love memory cards. Memory cards are really good. Cameras, those sort of things, because capturing the moment I really, is really appreciated. Eh, we'll see. Let me know down in the comments, what are you hoping for this holiday season? I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe. Every Monday through Friday, I do something different. Monday is always for you, you stay-at-homes. Oh, by the way, you who, who aren't stay-at-homes, you can leave now. Yeah, it's okay. But ask them. Talk to them. Ask them what they want. They'll thank you. They really will. Uh, and don't forget, running your house doesn't have to be a full-time job. Turn it into a hobby and have some fun.